And at a time when there's a well-oiled mercy campaign for Bollywood star Sanjay Dutt, who has been convicted in the 1993 blast for hoarding illegal weapons, there's yet another accused who's convicted of the same crime. She suffered for 20 long years as well, spending eight months in jail. But when the verdict came out, the only person who perhaps was batting for her was her own daughter. There's an entire brigade of politicians and actors who are appealing for mercy for Sanjay Dutt on humanitarian grounds. But not a word of support coming in for this 70-year-old woman who perhaps is paying the price of not being a celebrity. Governor Ji, I am talking about the governor. I am asking you to ask me that you put me on my case. My daughter has told me that you have to do the work for the people of Sanjayad. You are doing the work of Sanjayad. You are doing the work of Sanjayad. गज्जू साहब रहम की गुजारिश कर रहे हैं तो मेरे इस केस पर भी आप नज़र डालें एक बार मैं आपसे दरख्वास करती हूँ मुझ पर रहम करें 20 साल से आज हम झुलस रहे हैं माँ बेटी अब हिम्मत टूट गई है आज जब मेरी बेटी ने बताया मुझे कि मुझे फिर से सरेंडर करना पड़ेगा अब मुझ में इतनी हिम्मत नहीं है दो साल पहले मेरा किडनी का बहुत बड़ा ऑपरेशन हुआ है Megha joining us with details on the story. Megha, we're talking about the same crime but a different punishment that has been handed out. Double standards for everyone to see really. Well, absolutely. In fact, uh, in the last few days, what we've seen is that uh, not only people from Bollywood who are rallying behind Sanjay Dutt, but also politicians and ministers in Delhi coming out in support of the actor, but not a single word for this old widow, 70-year-old, in a bad medical condition, uh, you know, probably cannot even live her life properly when at home. And it is a huge cause of concern for her family as to how she will survive if she is made to go back to the jail to serve out her sentence. Of course, they are, they are, their plea is also different. They are going to file for a review right. petition and if that doesn't work, certainly for mercy. But at this moment, mm. you know, they are extremely concerned. Their only sliver of hope is that if the governor is going to... Well, let's uh, just you know, see uh, which way this actually goes. We're talking about a desperate appeal that's coming forward from Zebun Nizakazi. Mega, thank you for having joined us.